Hello there and welcome to The Bunker. I'm Lloyd Evans and it's time for another voicemail. This one is from Marianne. Let's listen to what Marianne has to say. Hey Lloyd, this is Marianne. I'm a patron of yours and been watching your channel for, I guess it was three years ago this month actually. Um, probably hear this a lot, but I just want to say thank you for your work. Um, thanks to you. I haven't had an Armageddon nightmare and I would say, well, maybe close to three years, maybe two and a half years. I did my research, like you said, and um, I just want to thank you for that. Um, I've kind of have, a, a, I guess, a question or a statement that's really not that important as opposed to what other people have called into you about. But um, sometimes I wonder, like, if growing up in the Borg, as I like to call it, since I was probably about three, that's when my parents got baptized. Um, if that affected my personality or things that I may not like that maybe wouldn't affect me so much had I not grown up in it. For instance, um, if someone drinks a little too much, I might find myself getting a little judgmental about it. Or if I see somebody covered in maybe uh, lots and lots of tattoos, I might be like, oh, how could they do that? And I'll say to myself, well, that's their personal choice. They're not doing anything to harm you. So why are you judging them? Um, and I wonder like, if I would have been like that had I not grown up in it, or would I look at things differently? So I'm trying to work on that and, and push that away and not be so judgmental because I wouldn't want someone to do that to me, obviously. Um, so I guess that's about it. Um, I don't, I'm sure this isn't really that important to use on the show, but if you ever feel like doing it, I would have no problem with that at all. I just want to wish everyone in your family and everyone that watches your videos a very Merry Christmas and hopefully a very much more happier new year than we've experienced this past year and much health and happiness to all. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Marianne. No, that's an excellent question. I'm really glad you called through with that. It's not something we really like to think about, is it? How, to what extent our cult background has modified our behavior to the extent where we're perhaps more judgmental towards others than we perhaps ought to be. And I think I can see that being an issue. I can see that being a problem. I like to think, in my own case, that I'm fairly tolerant of what other people choose to say and do. Um, but it's it's bound to be an issue, isn't it? When you've spent years or decades being trained to look down at people simply because of how they look or simply because they're smoking a cigarette or drinking more than they perhaps ought to drink i guess i guess like in most areas of life there's a need for balance isn't there because truthfully there are some things that hurt people and there are some things that don't hurt people tattoos if they're done properly and safely, which in the vast majority of cases they are, don't hurt people, do they? So what's the problem if someone chooses to have a tattoo? Um, on the other hand, when it comes to things like drinking and taking drugs, and when I say drugs, I don't mean like pot, I mean like cocaine and some of the really serious drugs that can cause people to develop addictions or can even kill people if they overdose. I guess it's how we interact with those who do have, let's say, an over-dependency. Are we going to be understanding? Are we going to be compassionate? Or are we just going to write them off? It gets further complicated if it's someone who we're having a close relationship with. Let's say we have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and they have a dependency on drugs or alcohol. I mean, if they are understanding that they have a problem and they need help, 
and you really care about them and you want to help them through it, I have immense admiration for people who are able to support their partner or spouse through those issues. On the other hand, there's an argument to be made for distancing yourself from situations where you're not in control. So someone else is pursuing a destructive course and they're expecting you to be along for the ride and they're not willing to put in any effort whatsoever to live healthily, basically. Um, these are issues that I guess need to be dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. What I'm saying is, it's not as simple always as saying, you know, drinking too much is okay, or taking any kind of drug is okay. Yes, it's someone's personal choice, but personal choices can be wrong. People can make the wrong personal choice. People can make the personal choice to, for example, get involved in a cult. Are we okay with that personal choice? What you want to avoid is you want to avoid being judgmental to the point where even things that don't hurt people or harm people, you're still kind of looking down on them and sneering at them from kind of a Jehovah's Witness perspective. Things such as smoking weed, things such as getting a tattoo or a face piercing or whatever. These are things that give people pleasure and don't in any way hurt anyone else whatsoever. Are we going to look down on those things and sneer at those things? And I can relate to this, there being just this programmed aversion to those things. But I would suggest that in time, the more people who we meet, the more diverse people we meet, should I say, and the more we encounter the kindness and love and humanity of people whose lives aren't calibrated exactly as our lives are calibrated, but who are still just amazing people, that's going to help, isn't it? Just exposing ourselves to a diversity of humanity, because let's face it, if everyone was exactly the same as us, would the world be a fun place to live in? <laughs> That's what it all boils down to. Do you really want to live in a universe where everyone is just a clone of you and mimics the things that interest you, likes the things that you like, makes the decisions that you make? I just I I would find that sort of world intensely boring. And I'm not just talking about, I don't know, piercings or tattoos or weed or whatever. I'm thinking in terms of ideas as well. I want to be challenged by different ideas. I find some ideas repugnant, such as ideas that discriminate against people. But that still leaves a large spectrum of ideas that um, I want to be challenged by. I don't want to just surround myself with people who see everything the way I see it. I, I actually find it quite invigorating to encounter something that provokes a response within me where I can go, hmm, is that the JW me? <laughs> or is there a justifiable reason why I should recoil at whatever it is I'm recoiling at? So you raise an interesting question, and I guess there aren't any easy answers. I'd be interested to know in the comments what the viewers think on this subject. But I guess my advice would be just be patient with yourself. Give yourself time. Um, surround yourself with people who do have slightly different uh, ways of enjoying their time on this planet witness that they're still good, decent people, and maybe that will help you understand that whether someone has a tattoo or a piercing or whatever, smokes weed, 
doesn't necessarily make them, or in <laughs> nearly all cases, won't make them a bad person. Usually it's the people who have fundamentalist, uh, toxic ideologies that present more of a threat to others <laughs> than people who just express their individuality in unique and interesting ways. So that is, I guess, how I would answer your question. Uh, and may I just take this opportunity to thank you, Marianne, for your support of my work through Patreon. That's very much appreciated. If you would like to leave a voicemail, like Marianne has left a voicemail, the thing to do is visit speakpipe.com forward slash cedars. Please remember that if you don't want your message to be played on the channel, you should indicate this very clearly. But that's everything I have to share with you. Don't forget to subscribe to the Lloyd Evans channel for more such videos. And as always, thank you for watching.